we will now go through setting up your own analysis. The next three chapters will guide you through the process of setting up a study folder performing risk calculations. The tutorial supplies all the input values that you will need to complete the analysis. So to create a new study folder, select new from the file menu or from the toolbar. A new study folder will open with the name of new file new Safeti Micro. You cannot save the study folder with the name untitled and just save it with a real name immediately. Select Save As from the File menu. Create a new folder with your name and save the file as Tutorial. The new study folder files are not empty but will have some default data set up. There will be two run rows one for day and one for night, as with those in the fast risk example study folder. There will be a weather folder which contains the weathers at the, as the same as those in the fast risk example study folder, combined into a single folder, and a set of default parameters, same as those in the fast risk example study folder, all of which are using the default values. Fast and Fast Risk contain an autosave feature which is switched off by default. It is advised to switch this utility on in order to recover work in the event of software operating system crashes. With the tutorial study file open, from the menu choose Options Preferences Installation and click on the Autosave tab and tick the Autosave on box and OK the dialog. The tutorial uses a map of an area near two rivers in a country which has a national grid system. The image for this map, it, map is supplied with the program in the form of a TIF file. To insert this raster image, go to the map tab. You see there is a raster image set. If there is not a raster image set, click on tutorials, insert raster image set. To insert this raster image, in the raster image set, go to insert raster image and then browse and in your C drive, go to program files, DMVS, the fast build that you're using, examples, maps, and we want the tutorial.tif file. And open this and press OK on the dialog. When you have selected a valid raster image, the placement mode fields will become enabled. And you can set up the map coordinates by dragging and dropping. We will now set the coordinates and size of the image. Double click on the tutorial icon to open the input dialog. Move to the geometry tab section. Set the east coordinate to 1.969 e to the 5. Select the northern coordinate to 4.361 e to the 5. Set the width to 4489 and the length to 3570. and OK the dialog. When you click on OK the image will probably disappear from the map window because it has been moved to a location beyond the scope of the window. Select fit all from the map menu and the map window will change to display the image covered by the image. If the menu bar does not include a map option click on the map window to make sure it is selected and the map menu will appear in the map bar. The coordinate value for the image will be in the national coordinate system for the country and the values for the area covered by the map are six digit numbers. By default, input dialogues display only four significant figures for any number that you are ed editing and with this setting you will find it difficult to be sure that you have entered the coordinates. To change the setting for number of significant figures, select Preferences General from the Options menu. Move to the miscellaneous tab 
and set the number of significant figures to 6 and OK the dialog. The day and night time weathers are set up as default and in the run rows tab the day and night run rows have the day and night weathers set up. 